Hey guys, Desolator Magic here, and views are down a bit this month, so I'm finally doing it. This has been somewhat heavily requested for the last eight or nine years. I have disclosed in the past that whenever we get a truly crazy, unhinged, mental patient leaving a comment on my channel, I screenshot it and put it directly on my Discord server. And then we all laugh at that person behind their back. I will be the first to admit that that is exactly what we do to these toxic, mental, just miserable wastes of space on this planet. And sometimes I save the truly egregious ones in a folder. Now, I get a lot of comments that are just like, you're bad, quit YouTube, which like, that's not even worth reading. But these ones, this is a whole other level right here. Let's start with the first one. No, I'm not going to show them on screen because one, I have to heavily censor these. Oh, to a degree, and I don't want to make the user famous. I, I basically just have to black out half of these, and then what's the point? All right, let's start with this absolute gem. Man, your ego, uh, he did use the correct your, but no comma. Anyway, man, your ego is about as big as your pot belly double period for some reason. Do you ever do productive content for the viewers, or do you just do hate crimes? Double period. Sorry there, man, with no commas and no capital S. Your pride really blinds your content. Double period. You are not that cool, comma, but you sure can talk annoyingly ranting. Good job, man, haha. No period, no comma, no nothing. Oh my gosh, th there's so many layers to this between the punctuation, the inconsistent use of commas, and the complete and utter nonsense, uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm not even sure he left this on the correct channel. I'm not particularly fat. I mean, I'm like 210 and I'm six feet tall. I'm a little husky and if I wasn't too lazy, I'd put in a like a little husky puppy barking every time I said that in the video. But I, I guys, I don't do productive content. I only do hate crimes. Those are the only two options. You can only do two things on YouTube. You can make productive content or you could just do hate crimes. So, I mean, hit subscribe if you want to see me burn Peru's flag in the next video. I don't, would that even be a hate crime? I can't even think of like a legitimate hate crime. For this next one, I couldn't even begin to venture a guess at what video this was left on. I just named this lunatic.jpg. So this person, their username is first name, last name, four numbers, and then four numbers which the second set were 2019. So like, what's going on there? Anyway, they left a comment saying, it. astronomy and science makes me want to kill myself. We exist because we exist. Future doesn't exist. Super voids doesn't exist. Yes, that was plural. Trust me, I'm not even going to get started on, on the at anything in this post that relates to grammar or spelling or punctuation because we just we don't have that kind of time so yes future doesn't exist super voids doesn't exist the sun is not a huge magma ball it's a shining star all caps let me enjoy my life what the f let me try and break this down here so astronomy and science just frustrate him to the point of being suicidal because they're all wrong, because we exist because we exist. Circular logic, big fallacy there. Future doesn't exist. Um, arguably, it's either created as needed by the flow of time. I think that's like the parallel universe hypothesis where it branches out in, in real time. He's stating it awfully confidently for, for just being a theory, but I'll give him that one. Super voids, I'll just correct it, don't exist. Well, they, they, well, first of all, the one singular super void that we have identified, there's only one, does exist. That's why we found it and gave it a name. Maybe that was like the short form version of it's not two universes colliding and that theory is batshit. Okay. The sun is not a huge magma ball. It's a shining star. I, I can't think of one time or person that the sun has ever been accused of being a magma ball. Because that's molten rock. I like how he was he was kind of trying with some of this. Um, the and sun are capitalized, like it's a proper noun. Um, I, d 
don't believe that's correct because the son's actual proper noun name is Sol, S-O-L. Well, at the end, in all caps, let me enjoy my life. I don't know who's not doing that. Certainly not me or whatever the hell video he posted this on. What more is there to say? Next! This one, it, it just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. It, it's so shockingly inaccurate. And I wish I could show you his profile picture. Let's just say this person's either a complete idiot or 12. Or both. So is Deso, which when have I ever gone by that, still abandoning his viewers because like one video got striked? Okay, first of all, struck. Secondly, I never got a strike on this channel. And third, it was a monetization issue where they had a glitch where they accidentally marked every single view as invalid for thousands of channels randomly. So I quote, abandoned my viewers by not quitting YouTube and making a second channel? You idiot. Oh gee, let me just continue uploading and making zero dollars when this is my full-time job. You asshole. But no, I'm abandoning my viewers because I got like one video striked. <laughs> that makes sense. Then he goes on to say, I know I unsubbed when he said that I had to go to his other punk ass channel. I mean, that is a pretty good description of it. It is literally just 100% shit posting. I mean, now it is. So he knows he unsubbed when somehow he still was watching my video and then heard that he had to go to my other channel. But then how does that let him know that he unsubbed and why is he watching my content if he unsubbed? And why did he go to the other channel? And then he just ends it with, your comment section dude obviously no comma what does the comment section have to do with any of this not one single sentence in this entire comment makes an ounce of sense this is why people shouldn't use computers while drunk i've never seen such a shocking misunderstanding of a situation since like the last time i was on twitter reading anyone replying to anything next up this one's real simple your spelled wrong a dumb space ass. Space period. You know in Magic the Gathering, there's that spell called redirect? <laughs> you, <laughs> you know the card Wall of Essence, where when you hit it, however much damage it takes, that's how much life I gain? <laughs> you ever seen the, the seasons of Pokemon where Team Rocket had a Wobbuffet? Where every time you attack him, he just bounces it back at, at you? I just realized none of those metaphors had anything to do with this. It's really just him roasting himself. It's like he tried to hit me, but then it kind of it, it backfired. It's like it's like when Voldemort tried to, you know, to kill Harry, but then it rebounded. Now I know a hot topic used to sell a shirt that just says you're dumb with your spelled wrong. It's it's one of those ironic t-shirts that millennials bought. This is like six layers deeper. I could just take this whole thing and put it on a shirt. Now this one, it requires context so that you can know how out of context it is. I literally, like, I haven't even looked at these ahead of time. I'm just hitting the arrow key next in, like, Windows Photo Viewer in this folder. And I literally, I saw this. I'm like, oh, how am I going to explain this one? How am I going to explain any of these, by the way? Okay, we had the, the alleged leak that said that Nissa in one set was going to be green, but then also use black mana. And that did turn out to be a thing. So I posted... A, a very old meme of a fat emo dude with like these weird, I believe the British call them curtains. <laughs> it's like, like super bangs, but in the front, but then there's like a cut, like he's going bald and then there's more hair. It, it was odd. You guys know who I'm talking about. Just type fat emo meme into Google image search. It's the fifth result. It's the one that's not the kid making gang signs. Anyway, so I posted that. In my community tab saying, I just saw a leak that says Nissa accessed black mana in addition to green because, and then dot, 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 I don't know. It was cut off. I'm sure I said, here's the leaked artwork or whatever. And yeah. So somebody commented on that post. I can't effing do this anymore. I've been playing magic since 1994, comma, I'm 40. Lowercase I, no period. Every sentence has the return key hit for some reason. You, of course, lowercase, pieces of S-H exclamation mark T ruined my game. F-K off and die. I don't even know where to start. Like, does he think I work for wizards? 
Was he directing it at Wizards? Was it even a comment about me? What did it have to do with the post? Was he posting on the wrong thing? That's hard to do. Was he ranting at Wizards and using like the like what the third party you or the second par first party one of those party use? There was some kind of party going on in that comment. I I don't know which one. And plus, it's it's like. Did he just see, oh, Nis is going to use black mana, and he's like, that's it. That's that's the final straw. I've been playing Magic since 94, I'm 40, and, and the game's ruined, and I'm, I'm out because of a rumor that Nis is going to use black mana, which I think she already did canonically in the lore in the past in one of the novels. Just thought I'd throw that in for additional background. Okay, this next one, posted by somebody with the username of Darren Kroos, D-A-R-R-I-N space C-R-O-S-E publicly with his face showing in the profile picture, which I screenshotted from the completely public comment section on one of my videos. He said, lol, magic players are f***ing Get a f***ing life, morons. So that's Darren. You know what? I'm just going to throw it up on screen. Next up, we've got a person with a picture of a very artistically painted duck as their profile picture swimming through a nice peaceful pond just thought i'd throw that in for some contrast he says well since you are a fat fucking loser or a nazi hopefully you fucking die of an overdose quack 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 just kidding i added that now two things i should point out logically here because i approach everything logically um one, does he mean to imply that no Nazis can be fat or that, like, no fat people can be Nazis? Because he said, fat f***ing loser or a Nazi. Like, either or. It's it's mutually exclusive. It is a binary condition where it can only be one thing or the other. Kind of like genders. And wait a minute, wait a minute. You can either be, see, he said, fat f***ing loser, that's option one, or a Nazi, which would imply that no Nazis are, quote, losers. He's, he's a big fan of them Nazis, apparently. Not surprising. Well, if I didn't already see a t-shirt with everyone who disagrees with me is a Nazi on it, I would have absolutely printed that myself. Uh, also, pretty hard to die of an overdose since I've never done any illegal drugs in my life. Let's see, can, can you overdose on glucosamine and like whatever else is in Move Free? My guess is no, because it's technically a food. It's not really a medication. It's like a nutrient. You know what? Let me just reply because obviously I banned this person instead of like allowing the comment and the replying. Uh, I hope you die, actually. Now this one, I have to guess from context what video this was on. And I think it was the one where an Australian store got a hold of some products ahead of time and they decided to live stream themselves opening it because they're idiots. I mean, if you're like some dumbass, you know, Zoomer 19-year-old sitting around drinking with your idiot Australian friends, and then you, you somehow come up with, oh, guys, guys, like, how edgy and cool would it be if we, like, stuck it to wizards by taking this product we're not supposed to have yet that was an accident and, like, opening it on live stream? That would be so savage. Hashtag YOLO. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, some people never grow up. That had to have been what went into this. I didn't watch the live stream, but I heard they were being extremely like immature and obnoxious on it. So this decision seemed to fit with that is what I'm getting at. So I stand by it. These people are idiots and they absolutely deserve the like six month suspension they got or whatever. I hope it cost them a hundred grand in losses. I really do. I mean, just like how much of a douche do you have to be to publicly carelessly just be like, haha, we're doing this pretty easy to trace it back to us. I think we set our store name in the live stream and it's on our Twitch account. <laughs> Savage YOLO morons so anyway i got a comment that says you are a hypocrite you getting views thanks to this store and you wish them the worst luck dot 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 space degenerate if anything that should be a semicolon and ellipses don't have spaces after them you are just as guilty for showing these spoilers you should get sued no period even though all the other sentences had a period uh, I believe there's a legal precedent called that horse has already left the barn. That's a thing that I just made up, but it, it typically stands up in court. No, I think there actually is a legal precedent of like, this was already public knowledge. I was not the initial source. So suck it. I wasn't actually um, leaking anything private. That actually is a real thing. Like literally it, it was just on a legal live stream like last week. 
They said, if, if I sign a contract with you that says I will not disclose that you wear pink underwear, and then you, the next day, go on the news and, and show everybody I'm wearing pink underwear, then I can violate the contract because that's no longer privileged information, no matter what the contract says, because it's already public information, and I'm not the primary source on it. And why were you wearing them in the first place? So, okay, profiting slightly off of IP theft, copyrighted, blah, blah, whatever, shut up. If they ever resorted to that after 50 other people before me covered it, it, it would be the biggest black eye they've ever seen, and I would not stop making it worse until they regretted that decision until the day they died. They'd be sitting there, retired for 20 years from Wizards of the Coast, on their deathbed thinking, I really shouldn't have gone after Des because, boy, did that blow up in my face. Wizards better pray they never piss me off to that level or come after my channel or attack me in that way because... It will not go pretty for their company and some of the people that I got dirt on. So no, I'm not going to get sued. So shut the f*** up. So I'm a hypocrite for saying that they shouldn't have leaked the cards and then giving it enough time that nobody would care that I'm like jumping all over it, showing the public information and commenting on it, which is fair use anyway, and then like dumping on the store saying they, they shouldn't have done that. Like that's... That's what you're taking issue with. So I'm, I'm quote, just as guilty for showing the spoilers. Yeah, I'm just going to close my eyes, bury my head in the sand, and, and pretend they never happened like every other wizard's ass kisser. Just like everybody did for three years with the, the curling paper problem. F*** off, you clueless shitbird. Go shit on somebody else's comment section. Next up, from some freak with a weird profile picture. Actually, how did he get that to be a square? How do you get a square profile? They... Don't they round them all off? Okay, now I'm curious. Now I gotta check. Yeah, I just looked at a bunch of sample comments. I don't know how he did that. He has a square profile picture. So this one has uh, 333 as a timestamp, just so we know what he's referencing. Couldn't tell you what video this is on. I, I could probably narrow it down. It starts out with, man, WTF. Look, I'm not a furry, and also you're apparently not a fan of a capital L or a comma, but capital T, they, now think you are just, capital S, some, nerd, living in, capital H, his, mother's basement, and just talking about a card game, all trough the day. Is that even how you spell trough? It's certainly not how you spell through. Comma, lowercase i, thought, capital T, that, capital T, they, could accept one another, but it's because of pieces of shit all caps, like you, exclamation mark, capital T, that, capital T, they, double space, no, triple space, actually, can't, comma, you racist f So, okay, let me just run this through again. In case it didn't fully make sense to you the first time, the second run through will clear it right up. Bleep, 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 whatever, man, WT, okay, great. Look, I'm not a furry, but they now think you are just some nerd living in his mother's basement and just talking about a card game all trough the day. I thought that they could accept one another, but it's because of pieces of shit like you that they can't, you racist f See how much more sense that makes? So all MTG players and all TCG fans are furries, is what he's saying. We're, we're all grouped together, and there's infighting because I'm a racist and also I'm a racist for not liking furries. And also he's not a furry. He's, he wants to distance himself from the furry community, group all TCG players and furry people and, and like nerds together, and then say that it's all my fault that we can't get along because I'm dumping on them. I mean, that's about the shape of it. Now, in my opinion, I think nobody gets along with furries in like the geek and nerd weird fringe communities because they're all a bunch of pedophiles and weird ass diaper wearing perverts. I mean, it could be that. That could be the factor. That, that, that could be the key to it right there. We might have just discovered something. I'm going to have to disagree that not liking furries is considered racism. <laughs> now, this next one, I've got a little bit of a special one here. When Mighty Carmods showed what I sent them to their Unicorn Circuit uh, sort of podcast show, because I sent them something cool in the mail, because of course I did, and they said my name and then I linked to it saying, oh my gosh, they opened my package on the show on my community tab. One of the replies was, and not one single capital letter in this entire post except for ISIS, he got that one in all caps, <laughs> which... <laughs> I don't think ISIS is an acronym. Now I'm actually kind of wondering. I'm not about to Google ISIS, though. 
Wait, is it just Islamic State, Islamic State? Is that what they came up with? ISIS? Why would it be in English? They hate us. What is... What? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's been established that they're not named after the Egyptian gods, so now I'm actually really curious. Anyway, so this person posted, you send it as incognito and then claim it, line carriage, how can we trust what you say is true, line carriage, or did you just change your mind, line carriage, dot, 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 or are you just ISIS claiming that this act was, quote, yours, quote, Question mark, question mark, question mark, space, colon, space, forward slash. Let me just be the first to uh, verbally reply to this comment. What? So, okay, I'm kind of being a little bit of an asshole here. I think this guy just, you know, speaks pretty decent English, to be honest, but it's not a first language. He doesn't like that I didn't put a return address, so I, quote, sent them the letter in the mail in the package incognito. Okay, then he says, how can we trust what you say is true? Because they read the letter that says, this is from Desolator Magic, you dumbass. This is from viewer and YouTuber named Desolator Magic. It's right there in what they read. What, do they think I'm on the damn show? In which case I could vouch for me sending myself the... What is going on here? So he's he says, I'm, I'm being like ISIS and claiming that what I sent them was mine, but with no evidence. I'm just saying, oh, that's my package that they opened, but it was sent incognito. So how could I prove it? Which brings us to the middle where he says, how can we trust what you say is true? Or did you just change your mind? Okay, that part I don't, I have no idea. So like to reiterate one, they said my f***ing username. So that would heavily indicate I'm the one who sent it. Then I linked to the video saying I'm the one who sent it and that it was not sent on my behalf by someone else. And I have no idea what you mean about me just changing my mind and also no, I'm not ISIS. <laughs> and what he's referring to is um, like the, the Vegas shooter. Um, he Like ISIS took responsibility for that. Anytime anything happens, ISIS is like, that was one of ours. And then it turns out to be bullshit. Boy, it'll be a miracle if this video gets ads. Oh my God. And then I, I was so curious about like what kind of batshit crazy person this was. I went to his like account page or like channel page. I don't know. It's kind of a hybrid these days. So I just, I clicked on his username on YouTube and he doesn't have any uploaded videos, but he has five playlists created. Buckle up for this one. Here, pause the video real quick. See if you can guess what, what the five playlists are vaguely about, like what they're titled. Uh, I'm sorry, you're incorrect. It's rowing, motivation, paleo, CrossFit, and hockey. I would have guessed um, ISIS, <laughs> trains, feet. <laughs> okay, that joke's getting old. This next one, it was pretty well written grammatically and um, punctuation-wise, but I, I don't get it. I do not... Get the reference. I, what the fuck? So I included what video this was on in the screenshot because I knew that that would make even less sense to me later. So on my video that said Wizards of the Coast admits glitchy disastrous state of companion app and I had crossed off portal and then put magic companion. It's when they announced that internally it was a mess. They're starting over and it won't be released for like a year. It was that video. Okay. So naturally, uh, let's call him Edward. It's not quite his username, but Ed Edward here says... Who the f*** cares about a chain of stores who do gang stalking, man? If you want to be teleported to high school, play Magic the Gathering. Okay, a lot to break down here. This person thinks that Wizards of the Coast is a chain of stores, which, I mean, in his defense, early on they had, uh, was it, let me think, was it, it wasn't Hasbro stores, it wasn't necessarily Wizards of the Coast stores, was it? I think it was just Magic the Gathering stores, and they had them in malls or something like that. I don't know. I'm not old enough for any of that. We didn't have any of those in my area. But they did used to have stores, so I could almost kind of give them that. But okay, so who cares about a chain of stores? Now, remember, this is about an app. It's about Wizards of the Coast making an app. But these, these chain of stores do gang stalking, man. If you're not familiar with that term, oh, that's a rabbit hole. You're probably thinking like, oh, gang violence. No, it's from, quote, targeted individuals who think that... I don't know, ghosts, demons, the DMT elves, the, the people, in the, the men in black, the, the FBI, the government, aliens, alien, ghost, demon, FBI members. 
who are also lizard person holograms made of cheese, they are they are they're targeting them and making them go insane. They're following them around. It's basically like a paranoid delusion. So they say that like the FBI is quote gang stalking them. They're hiring people to like follow them around at the supermarket and like stare at them. And like that person who bumped into my cart, that's one of them. You know, they, they see them everywhere. And honestly, like these these people, I feel bad for these people. If, if that's how you like live your life and you're that delusional and you're kind of like messed up in the head like that, ooh boy, that must be hard. I mean, you you need to get some help if that's you, like for real. So yeah, these, these paranoid, you know, delusional people, they find a community online that reinforces their like initial suspicions that like somebody's following them, somebody's watching them, oh, they saw the same car three times, and then they, it just gets amplified. They just go online, find the community, and it makes them worse. And that is honestly an absolute shame. But according to Edward here, <laughs> Wizards of the Coast is behind all of the gang stalking, not the FBI or aliens or lizard people. So, okay. And, and then he just, he ends it with, if you want to be teleported to high school, play Magic the Gathering. Like, we talking in, in time? Teleported back to high school? What does that have to do with the first part of the sentence? Which, by the way, there's just a comma. Those aren't even two sentences. Th those are meant to be taken together as one statement. There's not even a capital I on that if. It's, like, they do gang stalking. If you want to be teleported to high school, play Magic the Gathering. That is clearly intended to be one continuous statement where those two things have something to do with each other. I haven't cracked the code yet. But yeah, if this guy thinks he's a targeted individual and that Wizard of the Coast is behind it and like they run stores secretly or something, okay, I'm not going to sit there and make fun of somebody with like a mental illness. But also his name is actually like a foreign spelling of the word Edward. So like maybe there's just like a lost in translation thing. Like if you want to be like nostalgically sent back to how things were in high school when magic wasn't crap and maybe like gang gang stalking was just some mistranslation yeah let's move on oh i thought the last one was in this folder i saved the best for last on purpose i must have saved it in its entirely like own folder let me go find it oh by the way everybody from my discord it's the nerf gun comment <laughs> yeah that one you know damn well which one i'm talking about <laughs> this is a legend on my discord server <laughs> I'm not sure I'm going to be able to unbleep any of this if I could find it. Oh, here's one that I just discovered. This isn't what I was looking for, but I just thought I'd read this just to reinforce the fact that people like this actually do exist. This person put, oh, look, it's an N-word on the cover of the pre-release. Instant boycott. I refuse, in all caps, to buy, in all caps, anything with N-words on it. I will not support the replacement of our people in our lands. Wizards of the Coast equals N-word lovers. And now I will turn off your video. Let me just be the first to say, f off. You cannot get the f off my channel fast enough, trust me. These are not the type of people that SJWs on Twitter go after. They're just like, this person, this celebrity, this movie star, this random person with six followers? Um, they said African American and actually this month it's, and then they just get out some dice and roll them as colored people. We're going back to that. Apparently canceled, go to Twitter jail. F you. And then like actual hate mongering pieces of human garbage. Like this person, they, they just leave them alone. Cause they're just like, well, I mean, what, what are they going to, are they going to respond to me yelling at them? They'll probably just spew more racist shit and call me an idiot. Like, no, we're going to go after people who don't deserve it that we think we can control. Because you know, we're not going to go find, like, actual KKK members on Twitter and, like, start calling them out because what is it going to do? You know, we got to go find Pepsi and say that they use the wrong pronoun or something. Because they're dumb enough to cave to it, they'll respond, and then I can feel powerful. You want to do shit to improve society? Anytime you, you meet a person like this, cut them out of your life, kick them out of your business, don't talk to them, publicly shame them. This is the kind of people where I'm like, you know what, cancel culture may be not so bad in some cases. You know, some people deserve to be canceled. Like this asshole. You say something like this, this isn't just like, oh, an insensitive comment. This is like, this is what this person is about. This is how they live their life. What a piece of shit. Anyway, found another comment in another folder. Apparently, I really need to organize these better. Um, this user wrote, fat F dot 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 desolator behind the screen, exclamation mark, hyphen go apostrophe her a cheeseburger fat boy. Fat boy is all one word. No, there's not a comma there. It's it's a train wreck. So I'm not even going to point out every flaw with this person's writing. Apparently, I accidentally approved 
removed this comment or it was the screenshot was taken before I filtered all comments. And the first reply from Jake's favorites was, I used to think that too, but he's not really fat. <laughs> Once again, a little husky. I'm a little large and in charge. I'm still somewhat athletic. I guarantee with my former kickboxing experience, I could still kick your ass person watching this video in all likelihood. Because I wouldn't fight, I would just pull out some pepper spray, my taser, and possibly a gun because that's how we do it in the hood. I don't fight fair. I don't fight pretty. I, I'm not above fighting drunk people. I used to work security at a really sketch venue, which is actually why I used to kickbox. Also, like literally in between takes in this, I'm doing like 10 minute rowing sessions to death metal. I just put on some mad death metal mix and then just row until like my arms hurt. So this new rowing machine I got is like pretty f***ing badass. You ever seen that video on YouTube where that fat guy's like hold my beer and then he does like a cartwheel into a backflip? Like that's basically me. Except I'm actually way skinnier than that guy. That guy was really big. That was actually impressive. And yes, approximately 99% of you think that before I show my face, according to the, the mass comments, one, I quote, sound like I have brown hair. Literally everybody assumed I was fat as shit because I played Magic the Gathering. I mean, it's a logical, like there's a link there. As I've said before, it's an archetype. And apparently a lot of you thought that I just generally looked like a lumberjack, which for the record, before I went and got the haircut in that funny jump cut uh, in my face reveal video, I mean, who says I didn't? That's bare minimum a lumberjack beard. Although according to the cops, it looks like a homeless beard. And apparently anybody sitting down on the sidewalk is suddenly homeless with two fucking phones catching fucking Pokemon. And then because of Wisconsin CCW laws, I have to be like, no, I'm not homeless. I have a gun. Just legally have to bring that up in the first sentence. Oh, thank God I'm white so they didn't shoot me. <laughs> that was a joke. BLM's a bunch of fucking morons. Uh, white people and cops are responsible for everything that went wrong in my life instead of all my dumb choices. Shut the f*** up, go read some popular rap lyrics and then go protest outside that artist's house instead of some police officers, you f***ing delusional assholes. Oh, I can't believe this. I've looked at every single file on my 8 terabyte drive that has the word comment in it and I can't find the Nerf gun comment. And I think it was really only in my old Discord server in the meme bunker because of course it was in the tactical meme bunker. Where the hell else would I put it? I just pinged at everyone on my Discord server to ask if anybody made a backup. Okay, I'm gonna keep looking for it, but like, it's getting late here, I wanna edit this. Okay, somebody sent me another one I posted from somebody whose username is just Janet. And according to her profile picture, she looks like an obese 60 year old woman. So just, Keep that in mind. All lowercase, no punctuation to be heard of in this entire comment. Okay, ready for this? Why do you play all you do is rant your an ass with the wrong your? Thanks, Janet. Well, while I'm running an even wider search of my entire computer, because seriously, this comment is amazing, I did find a tweet by Lee Sharp, everybody's favorite asshole. He's some huge semi-famous public figure in the magic world. He goes by Lee Sharp on Twitter. MTG underscore Lee. I think he works for Wizards of the Coast. He tweeted, the gaming industry also has too many cis straight white dudes and we could use more people who aren't that of that description. So if you're inclined at all, please apply. Okay, you fucking racist. Ooh, straight white guys are incapable of doing their jobs. We better not hire any more of them. Because all I care about is my own public image, not somebody who can do the job right, and I'm just gonna tick a box. F*** off, Lee Sharp, you racist piece of shit. Oh, I found another one that's so mean, I'm not sure I can even... I'm just gonna have to heavily edit this. Okay, so just imagine this, but it's even ruder. And just everything is spelled and punctuated wrong. Everything. I, I can't possibly pause and tell you all of the mistakes in this. There's an ellipses with two periods and there's one later with four. Disgusting. Anyway, he says, absolutely f garbage. Didn't listen to this dumb ass. I'm just pronouncing it as he wrote it. I'm not gonna put that. Or just delete and ban my comments because all ill ever have to say about you is the fact that you're an eight-year-old gamer Anyway, no worry, no more comments from me. <laughs> Not worth my time. It's even funnier when you know that he left three comments in a row, three minutes apart. Right after he said, no worry, no more comments from me, he put, Not worth my time. <laughs>
couldn't believe I actually took your advice. Life lesson, I guess, lol. What's he so pissed about? Let's find out in the sequel. 11 losses and zero wins in Platinum League. When my mono green has got me one win away from diamond. Funny how you made this video saying, this deck will get me to diamond. Well, did it actually get you to diamond? Or were you just wrong about this shit ass deck? I literally showed me getting the diamond in the footage. Literally, like it's, you're now in the diamond league. Pop up right on screen for him to see it. Did I actually get to that league? Using this deck? And then upload the gameplay as background footage to prove it? Comment number three. OMG, for real. Tegis Deckham is so bad, dude. Stop acting like you knai the game just because I have a U2E channel. <laughs> like, damn, all my. Period. Capital O. Original homebrew decks win chi constantly more than this shit. Wow. <laughs> Keep in mind. I didn't read 100% of what he wrote. Somebody this stupid to have this poor of a grasp on the English language is wondering why I took a deck that I designed and got to the Diamond League with it virtually instantly. By the way, I believe he's talking about my cycling deck, which eventually got me to Mythic. And then he went 11-0 with it in the Platinum League and then came to absolutely go off Queen and clap back in the comment section to tell me that I'm completely wrong that he misplayed my deck because clearly he is impossibly unintelligent. That might have something to do with it, good sir. If your grasp on what to play when and how to mulligan and how to target your spells is as great as your grasp on the English language, I might have a theory about why you went 11-0 with my perfect deck. Don't blame me, as we say in the IT world, pebcac. The problem exists between the keyboard and the chair. He's, he's not going to figure that out. It's you, dumbass. You're the problem. You're the one who caused you to get 11 losses. Because you misplayed the deck. Oh, found another one. This one is from currently in hiding from the entire internet, former YouTuber who got his channel deleted, MTG Unsealed. He replied to me in an edited comment, Desolator Magic, okay, yes, I'm just that dumb to use his real name, as in the alleged owner of the store that he got his stolen product from he opened like a promo pack of like 40 promos and then a bunch of other prize support shit that you like sign a contract that says you're not going to sell it and he literally was like i'm gonna open this and sell it on ebay <laughs> f wizards so that's why he's saying yes i am that dumb to use the store owner's real name in previous store lol do you realize how many people asked back when i did hour of devastation a week early back when i did i'm on Ket a week early and when i got commander anthology 2017 almost a week early I use so many excuses. I never gave any hint away. I'll never expose whom I know. Oh, I, I guess the first sentence was supposed to be sarcastic. This is way funnier reading, knowing that a couple months later, somebody doxed him and then he went into hiding and Wizards probably sued him and he's probably in jail. Or filing for bankruptcy right now. I honestly hope he's dead. He says, I use so many excuses. I never gave any hint away. I'll never expose whom I know. Oh, whoopsies. Maybe he or she works for wizards. Lols with the Z. This is too easy and funny. You think I take Wizard of the Coast regulations seriously? I don't give a f I like to open and sometimes get things early. This channel is basic and I do what I want to do and will do no matter who says what. Go put another gold star sticker next to your name like you accomplished something, you hypocritical, ignorant white knight. <laughs> I honestly hope you're dead. I really do. I wasn't kidding. He used the WPN account from a closed store to steal tens of thousands of dollars of promotional products from Wizards of the Coast by filing um, fake pre-release and FNM events and then sold them on eBay. So when one of his friends is like, you know what, he actually is a shitlord and then leaked his information online, at least that's how I heard it went down, he deleted all of his socials and his uh, YouTube channel. But um, I bet that information got back to Wizards and I bet they demanded their money back for breach of contract and theft and fraud. I honestly hope bare minimum he's in prison right now. Here's another one. I think I know who left this and I think it was supposed to be like a parody comment or a prank. With that in mind, 
He posted, I like your, like you are new with a K fidget spelled wrong spinner cause spelled with a Z. I was losing a magic spelled wrong game and then I threw spelled wrong it at my opponent spelled wrong and they had to call am spelled wrong ambulance spelled astonishingly incorrectly. How and why did 19 of you upvote this? And secondly, I've never sold fidget spinners. I, what? Is he even thinking of the right creator? Anyway, I think it was a parody comment. Wow, where do I keep finding these? What folder are these even in? Okay, that latest search came up with nothing. I'm just going to search for the word nerf. I mean, how many times could it possibly occur on my computer? All right, with the magic of editing, that found absolutely nothing. I think this comment might be long gone. I'm reviewing some logs and some stuff, but I'm just not seeing it. Oh, that is such a shame because that that's just, nobody's ever going to top that. I mean, it was spelled wrong. It was racist. It made no sense. It had nothing to do with the video. This person was on drugs when they posted it, to be perfectly honest. I'm just, I, I shouldn't even have said anything now because you guys are going to be like, go f***ing find it. I've been looking for it for like an hour. Okay, I'll make it up to you. I wasn't going to include this particular folder because I made it its own video. It's the angry MLP fan comments after I absolutely trashed on MLP in a video. This entire post is in all caps. He says, F***ing people like you that are f***ing stupid, really not ever furry is a perv. Every fandom has pervs and bad people. Normally, I don't have problem with people that don't like which is all one word, furs, which I never said anything about furs. I said furries. I mean, I don't like furs either, but you know, I'm just saying. Uh, but when dumbass like you say, say furs are freaks or all pervs, you're wrong. You're a fucking piece of shit. Try learning a bit more about furries. <laughs> no, thanks. Or another before you go calling out people for their wrong, their interest. Oh, I think the, I think the inflections on the eye interest. And really just f***ing leave people alone for how they want to be, you sideways, stupid piece of shit. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> Caps Lock is just cruise control for cool. Or angry and deranged furry. I deem this new poorly spelled all caps language furries. Okay, furiesian, because fur you obviously get confused with furries and furries. And yes, unfortunately, the Nerf gun comment makes that look like Shakespeare by comparison, but I can't f***ing find it. You know what? If I do find it, it'll be its own video. It'll be 30 seconds of me reading it and then just laughing for three minutes. That'll be the whole video. It'll be complete shit, just like that comment. So anyway, that's been the most toxic, crazy, unhinged comments that I bothered to take a screenshot of. If you want to see... About eight more examples, go look at the MLP comment comeback video. It's pretty f***ed. I mean, it turns out if you call out members of an already known to be unhinged community, they they show up. They, uh, they sure come out to play. It's actually nice that so many of them are so poor at, like, typing and, like, expressing themselves on the internet because, you know, whatever keeps them away from kids. So, um, I, mean, I would say, like, thanks for watching, but that just doesn't fit. Like, thanks for making, no, like, congratulations for making it all the way through this video. So, um, I'm gonna go drown my feelings in chicken nuggets and Tylenol. I'll see you guys next time.